Hi friends, welcome to Upa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 96 in Azure Data Factory playlist videos. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to extract data from a table in website page using Azure Data Factory. That means, let's assume if you have opened some website page and on that page you see some data in a tabular format. Now, for some reason, you want to take that data. You want to extract that data. Then how to do that using the Azure Data Factory. So, for to do the same thing, we have to use something called Web Table Connector in Azure Data Factory actually. So, let me practically show you that. So, as I said, this Web Table Connector, it actually helps you to extract the data from HTML table of a web page. That means, once you open any web page, if there is any HTML table, it will try to extract the data. And finally, you can load that data into some destination storages according to your own need. When you are using this Web Table Connector, you need to use self-hosted IR only. You cannot use Azure IR or Autoresolve Integration Runtime IR. We have to rely on self-hosted IR only. So, we have to make sure we should install one self-hosted IR for the data factory. How to install self-hosted IR and how to register it, I have already discussed that in the Azure Data Factory playlist in the early videos. So, please watch there. So, now one more thing to remember is <coughs> this web page right, or this website whatever you try to open that should be authenticated with the anonymous authentication. That means over the internet, anyone should be able to access that page. There should not be any authentication. So in that case only it will work. So let me practically show you that. So let's go to browser and let me explain you the requirement first. So there is a web page called this careerpower.in slash states and capitals of India dot HTML web page or website you can call anything. So in this web page, if I scroll down, I see so many, see here, here there is one table which gives state names and also the uh, capital of that particular states and also if I scroll down there are like so many other tables ter union territory names and the capitals of there so everything is there so now for some reason I want to take this data I want to take the state names and the capital names as my data set from this web page and then I want to load this data as a CSV file into my storage account maybe into my ADLS Gen2 account so then how to do that so indirectly it's like we are trying to extract the data from the web page so to do that let's go to azure data factory i have already opened here and let me go to there here this uh, pencil icon which is author menu and here let's try to create a new pipeline so in this new pipeline so usually if you want to take data from one place to another place we will be using a copy activity right so let's use a copy activity and in this case we want to take the data from this web page from this web page to maybe data like storage gen2 so if i go back to azure portal i have adls mahir storage account so into this storage account in some destination folder i want to load the data so to do that so i am using a copy activity now if you closely observe this web page is my source right so let me take this url and let's go back to data factory under source tab of the copy activity this is where we have to create a data set for our web page right why because my source is web page so let's hit this new button to create a new data set and while you try to create a data set here we should use this web table connector <coughs> so that means even the linked service behind the scenes will be created with this web table connector so this connector helps you to take data from the websites or web pages so let me click continue here and uh, so web table one that's what the default name let it be if you want to change you can change it then linked service Let's hit this new button to create a new linked service. So web1, so if you want to change the linked service name, you can change it. And if you see this linked service is type of web table connector. Okay. And here connect via integration runtime. This is where you need to select your self-hosted IR. I have already installed one self-hosted IR in my local system. You can see it is running here. So the same self-hosted IR, I am selecting it here. Now here we should use the URL of the website or web page from which you are trying to take the data. And the authentication should be anonymous only because only anonymous authentication right now it which, which can be worked. Anonymous means anyone can access. Now you can click this test connection button to see whether your linked service is able to connect to that website or web page successfully or not. So you see test connection is successful now. So now let me hit this create button to create this linked service. So linked service got created here. If I click this pencil icon, I can see all the details of the linked service whatever I filled let me click cancel and now here what we will do this index field actually try to take the index of the web table 
so in any web page there will be so many tables right so it will try to index every table and all those indexes it will actually load here but sometimes or in many times you may see this error failure here so let's not worry about that for now you simply click ok button and then you can see right now under source tab i created this web table data set let's try to open this data set now now if you see inside this web table data set there is a linker service which is connecting to my website this is fine but now if you see this index is a mandatory field but index is not loaded so usually many times you see that error index will not load so the best and also we also should be knowing like this table what is the index of this table we don't know right so what we have to do we have to rely on a small uh, manual task here to see the index of the web, uh, every table so to do that let me open a excel so you can try the same thing when you are trying so you have to open excel and then let's try to take a blank workbook and so why i am opening this excel is i am going to connect to that web page from this excel now and then i will try to see the index of the table which i am concerned about so here go to data tab data menu click this get data from other sources select this from web from so web is my source okay so once you click that it will open a dialog box where you have to provide the url so let me go here and let me copy this url let's come back to excel see it is asking me to enter a url so let me paste the url click okay so it is going to connect to that web page and then it will try to give you all the tables available in that web page see it is giving all the tables now if i click every table under the preview i can see what kind of data it has so if i go here indian states and capitals see this is the table i am concerned about i am getting state names i am getting capital names but if you closely observe there is one more header one more column called came called header and it has something like this so why because if i go back to browser if you see this table it has one big uh, uh, row here which has a heading and then we have two columns so this heading column will also become will come as another column actually so that's the reason you are seeing it here so what we can do in the copy activity mappings we can omit this column to load into my storage okay so that we can do it very easily so let me so now we are seeing the table from the web page but what is the index of that a table so we need index right why because as i said if i go to data factory the data set which is pointing to my website here i have to provide a index field so let's go back here you need to click this transform data button to view the index of that particular table so once you click it it is going to open a new dialog here like this power query editor it will open you can see it is a power query editor so inside a power query editor for for that particular table you click this advanced editor so under advanced editor you can see this so this is the index of the table so right now if you see that so this zero index we have to take and let's go to our data factory web table data set which we just now created let's use that index here now if i go back to pipeline here my source data set setting is done let me go back to sync under sync let me try to use a data set which is already created if i open this data set this data set is pointing to sample container result folder and it is pointing to some states.csv file <laughs> but if you see in my storage account i don't have a states.csv file under sample container result folder that means this data set is going to create this file as a sync file when i use this entire data set as a sync inside a copy activity and this data set is a csp type and that means a csv file will be created and i have also mentioned first row as header inside this data set so now let's go back to our pipeline so i am selecting my sync data set which is pointing to some file like states.csv that means with that name one file will be created if the file is not there so now let's go back to mappings so here we have to import the mappings so why we have to import the mappings if you remember let me go back to my advanced editor here let me close this here from this table we are actually getting three columns but we need we need only two columns right so this extra column what i am getting from the source i don't need that so i have to delete this extra column from the mappings of the copy activity so to do that here under mappings let's remove this header column because i don't want to load that only these two columns i want to load it into a sync and inside a sync if i see this data set it is going to load this entire data as a states.csv file so now let's go back to pipeline and now here let me try to debug execute this pipeline and see whether our pipeline will run successful or not 
and also let's see whether that states.csv file will get generated or not. So let's wait for our pipeline execution to complete here. So pipeline execution is in progress currently. So within few seconds, the pipeline execution will complete. See, pipeline execution is successful. Now, if I go back to the storage account, if I refresh this re result folder, I should be seeing that states.csv file. So now let me open this states.csv file and let me click this edit button. And if you see, I, I would have got see, state name, capital name, and we got all the columns as well, right? If you want to see the data, then download this file and let me try to open this file and let me try to practically show you this file uh, also here. So when I try to open that file, it is opening up this previous Excel dialog, what it is opened. So let me close this here and let me discard these changes, whatever I have here. And let's wait for the data load, load from status.csv file, which I downloaded. You can see we are getting the entire data, right? So this is how we can actually very easily take the data from the websites and load it into our destination storages as per our need. Okay, so the main thing, the, ma the main magic is happening because of this web table connector that will help you to connect to the websites with an anonymous authentication using a self-hosted IR and you need to get the index first before pointing to any table and to get the index, we have to use an Excel trick that what I did just now, right? So let's go back to presentation. So I think that's it in this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.